Hello guys, in this video we're gonna add an end screen so when you lose the game you have kind of a restart button and I added a bunch of fonts as you can see so you can try different uh, fonts and see maybe you like some of them better and I found a new trick just now, I wanna show it to you you can select all of the fonts you have oh sorry and click right button, go to create mm. wait it was just here, I just saw it text mesh pro, font assets and it's going to create font assets for all of them. And now you can use it on the canvas here. Now, what I want to do, uh, let's go and make canvas UI image. It's going to be end screen or maybe game end window, something like game end. And let's give it a sprite of a button we had from UI elements. So it looks the same. We can make it bigger. Mm, align it in the center. Like so. And then we can add a text element, text mesh pro. And message. You lost. Try again. Or maybe something more encouraging. <laughs> I don't know. You did well. Try again. Oh, we will write try again on a button. You did well. Right? We need to make it black. And we can try different fonts again. Mm -hmm. I think this one looks good. Not exactly pixel. Oh, let's use pixel font. Why not? No, I want to use this one. But you can use pixel font if you want. So I'm going to do this one and I'm going to make it bold. And we need to take this end message, increase the size of a text window, maybe just uh, just like so. And we're gonna align it to the top. Oh man, why you do like this? All right, I hate it. I'm gonna just stretch it, stretch it at the top. Why it's bigger than I need it to be? Come on, man. Okay. Now let's do a line uh, center and just move it down a bit. You did well. We can increase the font size. Mm, you think this is okay? I hope so. I don't know. I don't really like it. Maybe we can... Yeah, I know what we're going to do. So we have you did well message. Let's just uh, do a line in the center. And we're going to make a couple of buttons that we're going to place under it. You did well. And we're going to place try again button. Let's do UI button text mesh pro. Try again button. We need a sprite for it. So we're going to drag it and we can make it bigger. It's kind of wrong, it looks the same. All right. I'll delete this end message and I'll delete this game end. I'll have just try again button, game end. I'll make it bigger. I'll place it in the center. Basically the same, but this time we have a button instead of just image. And for the text, again, change font, bold, bigger. And I'm going to type here try again. And we can assign a function to this button on click because now, right now, this button is clickable. Check this out. You see? Clickable. So what we're going to do is... And before we continue, I want to say thanks to all of my Patreons and give special thanks to Friendly Robot, SKT1 Mighty Poppy, Steven and Gennady, Chen Son, and Retrobat Gamer. Thanks to you guys, these videos are possible. We're gonna uh, go to Canvas, UI, I'm going to make one function, public void, open and uh, screen, in which we're going to switch on that button and we're going to stop time of the game. So time dot time scale equals to zero. This will stop time of the game completely. And then we need the reference to that button. So I'm going to make a serialized field, private game object. Um, try again button and here when we do 
uh, time scale dot zero. We're gonna do try again button, set active, true. And we need a function, public void, that will allow us to restart the game. And we're gonna do just a restart game here. We're gonna bring time scale, time scale back to one, because otherwise, even if you restart the scene, time gonna be, I mean, time scale gonna be zero and time will be frozen. And then we're gonna do scene management, restart scene, but we don't have a scene management yet. So I'm gonna try to type it, scene manager. And if I click enter, it's gonna add over here using scene management, as you can see. All right. So if you don't have it added automatically, just type here using Unity Engine Scene Management. And then Scene Manager, Load Scene. And here we need Scene Index or Scene Name or uh, maybe a variable for a scene. Or we can just reload current scene. But what I want to do is just type here zero. The reason I'm doing this because if you go to Unity, On the file build settings you can see uh, scenes you have in the build and this one currently has index zero so i can just use it to reload the scene uh, now let's drag try again button here switch it off by default and we need to go to that zone and when we lose the game we don't need to set up time scale to zero anymore but we can do ui dot instance dot uh, open end screen this will end the game okay i'm gonna save it and we're gonna try it i'm gonna jump down oh that zone is switched off and also i think of bringing it a bit uh, lower so you have some time before you fall entirely and let's try it now I'm falling. Try again. Mm -hmm. Does not restart the scene. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, this is my bad. We need to take the button, go here on click, hit plus. We can drag canvas like so, and then we can choose function we want to use. And we're gonna use restart game. Now let's try again. Boom. Try again. Right, this looks good. I just noticed my character stands kind of in the air a bit. So I want to take my player. Oh no, it's fine. Don't know why it's like that. Well, I'll just take a collider and bring it up slightly. Okay. And maybe ground point as well. Ground check, just up slightly. Alrighty, uh, we did well for this video and I think actually, you know, basically the game I wanted to create, the game I wanted to show you is ready. And certainly there are more things can be done. A lot of things, bunch of effects, particles, but I wanted to make a free course and free course is limited by time. I'm just going to have one more section for polish and cool features we could add. I'm going to show you a couple of them. But not much. In general, you did well and we kind of done with the game. You have fun game that you can play. You need to reload your gun. You need to shoot sushi and you lose if you miss some of them. And it becomes difficult with the time when you have more sushi created. All right. So I'll see you in the next video with a polish. Thanks for watching. Rest of the course will be posted on this channel shortly. Subscribe not to miss that. Check my website for more courses. Ask your questions in the comments below. And remember, we don't play games. We make them.